It is with great pleasure that I present this award to a true Disney legend and a dear friend, Harrison Ford. Yeah, the legendary actor was first in the program to be officially deemed a Disney legend at D23 Expo last night by Disney CEO Bob Iger, nonetheless. Coming on stage and turning to look at the crowd and hearing the roar of 50,000 people got Harrison a little teary-eyed. was so loud that Harrison might not have noticed the music that was playing as he came up. No, he probably did. The damn music follows me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he joked about the infamous Indiana Jones theme music. It's played every time I walk on a stage, every time I walk off a stage. As he honored composer John Williams at his AFI tribute in 2016, was playing in the operating room when I went in for my colonoscopy. John was also honored as a Disney legend last night. And yeah, I don't think Harrison minded the music too much this time around. I love you too. Even before he got on stage, you can see that Bob's intro and the video packed with some of his collaborators got Harrison a little choked up as well. I love the life you've given me. I love the people that I've had the opportunity to work with. Nobody does anything in this business alone. We work in collaboration. No matter who we are or what we're doing, we're working on an idea. I have the privilege of being uh, Storyteller. An assistant storyteller. <laughs> I have my part of the story to tell. But so does everyone else. But the stories are for you. About you. About us. Our common humanity. And to be able to work in that area is a privilege. I mean, we've had the privilege of watching Harrison on screen for a half a century now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been calling him a legend without Disney anointing him as one. But with Disney having designated over 300 people before Harrison as legends, you might be wondering, what took so long? Well, Disney has only owned Star Wars since 2012. Chewing. We're home. After the acquisition, Harrison returned as Han Solo in The Force Awakens in 2015, and The Rise of Skywalker in 2019. Come on. The first four Indiana Jones movies were all before Disney was boss. So Harrison only returned to that character last year in The Dial of Destiny. I then scanned through the rest of Harrison's filmography and none of the titles jumped out to me as Disney productions. The only one is called The Wild in 2020, which started as a 20th Century Fox production, but then Disney bought them. So then when it was released in February 2020, it was the first film released under the new umbrella 20th Century Studios. So yeah, basically Harrison hadn't worked for Disney until 2015. They waited until he played Indiana once for Disney, and now they can justify calling him a Disney legend. I'm fine with it. Because look at that smile on Harrison's face alongside Mickey Mouse. Like, come on. I'm very honored to be in the company of the other people that are being uh, uh, honored tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm really <laughs> delighted and a little bit embarrassed by this, but I'm so very grateful. Thank you very much. Damn Harrison, when you cry, I cry. You gotta stop doing this to me. <laughs> yeah, over the past couple of years, I've talked about um, you know this idea that Harrison has had to get used to or tolerate people wanting to give him his flowers. And what I loved about this moment is that he really took the time to take it in. And this is, once again, why Harrison Ford is simply the best. Because yeah, he can play the tough guy, the action hero, the grumpy old man. But really, Harrison can never hide his heart. It's right there on his sleeve. 
Now, what do you think of Harrison becoming a Disney legend? 